Hi guys, welcome back to my Cup of Beauty channel. My name is Emma and today we are doing Nancy from The Craft. I absolutely love this film and that's why it got me into like a little bit of witchcraft. Saying that I haven't really read this book properly, which I'm probably going to do, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so if you want to stay tuned to get this look, keep on watching and this is just another look from the 31 days of Halloween. So stay tuned and do subscribe and you will see lots of crazy looks over the next 31 days. So yeah, keep on watching. That's the first thing I did was prime my face and I'm just using the uh, Maybelline Anti-Aging Eraser Concealer in Light. Just go under my eyes and problem areas. Next I'm going to use the Rimmel Light Porcelain Foundation. I always use this foundation but my usual one is soft beige but I'm using the lightest one I have because Nancy is a lot paler than me. So blend that all in with a beauty blender and then moving on to the eyebrow she's got quite thin 90s eyebrows, really black so I'm using a black coal pencil, it's just a eyeliner pencil but I want that really dramatic 90s eyebrow look. With the Laura Mercier's brightening powder, I'm just going to bake under my eyes. I'm going to do my eyeliner first. Um, just with a black coal eyeliner, I'm just going to line the bottom of my eyes because I want them to be quite dark and smoked out. I'm just going to smoke them out with a pencil brush. Now with the NYX Avant Pop Palette, I'm just going to get the brown and just pop that into uh, the middle of my eye. If you look at Nancy's uh, eye makeup, it's smoked out and dark in the corner but it's it's not a full-on dark smoky eye, it's very medium, I'd say a medium smoky eye that we're going for. By middle of the eye, I mean where I'm placing it where the crease of the eye is and then blending it up and blending it down. So now I'm going to grab the uh, matte black from the same uh, NYX palette with a pencil brush. I'm just going to pop it on the outer corners and then I'm going to drag it out to like a, almost like a cat eye and then almost like a C shape because you want to keep the lid uh, light but you want the darkness to just be around it if you get what I mean because I'm so bad at explaining how to put makeup on. And I'm just going back in with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. And I'm just going to intensify that black a little bit more and just go in with that matte black again and then blend. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with the uh, peachy creamy colour, pop it on the lid just to brighten that area up and just in the transition area. Then going in with that shimmer white colour, I'm just going to pop that under the brow bone just to brighten that area up. Next thing I'm going to do is just add some mascara and some lashes. Now grabbing my uh, Rimmel translucent powder, I'm just going to set everything 
and brush away that uh, powder under my eye. Next the blush, I'm going to be using uh, NYX blusher in rose gold and just slightly contour with whatever's left on your contour brush. Then for the lips I'm going to be using uh, NYX matte lipstick in uh, crazed. Right guys so this is the final look, I hope you all enjoyed it and can take something away from it. Um, bring out your inner crazy Nancy, uh, yeah, hope you like it. This is actually a necklace because I couldn't find any earrings that were um, that was crosses, so I've just like hooped it round my ear. Wig from eBay, um, necklaces from Primark. Uh, this was from Primark, and this was from like a like a goth shop, I think. I don't know, a rock shop. I don't know. I had it when I was at college, so that was my crazy stages in my life but absolutely brilliant parts of my life so yeah so do like and subscribe and do stay tuned for more looks because I'll be doing in total 31 looks over Halloween so yeah take care and I'll see you next time bye